Michael Saylor is about to be taking Bitcoin to a whole new level and so much more guys we have a lot to cover today and first let's take a look at the price of Bitcoin right now Bitcoin sitting around 16k we're still in that chop mode not too much to talk about here and for our first order of the day take a look at this central banks have been buying massive amounts of gold we know that Russia and China have been buying massive amounts of gold Russia bought a lot of gold before they invaded Ukraine China recently has been buying massive amounts of gold and you can see that recently in 2022, I know we're in 2023 now, but in 2022, central banks really across the world were buying massive amounts of gold. Now, what could this all mean? It's pretty weird because, you know, if you're buying a lot of gold, it means you're betting on hard money. But could that also mean you're losing faith in your own fiat currency? Now, we do know right now the dollar is king and a lot of countries don't like this. A lot of countries have also opted to, you know, dumping U.S. treasuries, which, you know, makes a dollar lose strength. But at the same time, the dollar right now still has a lot of power and still is king. We know that countries around the world are trying to make this change. So a lot of them have just been buying a ton of gold to try and get into that hard money. And I think this is pretty interesting. Really, we don't know too much about why they've actually been buying gold. And we can only really speculate because at the end of the day, we're just people. And the people who are deciding to buy this, well, they're not going to release in true info on why they're deciding to buy mass amounts of gold. And then take a look at this. Globally, the world's billionaires have lost nearly $202 trillion combined in 2022. I think this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, people just lost a ton of money and it is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, these billionaires that lost a ton of money, besides like Sam Bacon Freed, who really, you know, is fucked. Like none of them are actually fucked. Like yeah, Elon Musk lost $200 billion, but he still has over hundred billion. Like, yeah, they, they lost a lot of money, but they also, you know, made a lot of money in 2021. So there's that. And then take a look at this. Croatia has just officially joined the Eurozone and adopts the Euro as its currency. I think it's a pretty interesting move. Not too surprised. The uh, Eurozone has a ton of power in Europe. And it was just, you know, eventually a matter of time before Croatia joined. And then take a look at this. The IMF is now warning the global economy faces a tough year in 2023. Now, I think we all know 2023 is going to be a tough year. Unemployment is going to rise a lot. And there's going to be a lot of things changing. I think we just really have not seen the worst for what's to come. I personally predict, you know, the Fed, the Fed has already kind of eased off on rates not eased off on rates, but you know, they've been hiking rates less aggressively. So they've kind of done a mini pivot, but they haven't fully pivoted to, you know, stopping raising rates and lowering rates. I don't think we're going to get to that point until probably maybe 2024. But at the end of the day, this system, the global economy right now, is just run on funny money and the funny money is completely drying up. So what's going to end up happening is, there, you know, the Fed just going to have to enter, you know, inject a ton of liquidity, massive amounts of liquidity in order to save the system. If the system really gets pushed to that point where it could be a really bad recession. I don't think these politicians are going to want things to become really, really bad. They want to stay in office. So I don't know. Probably going to be a tough year. But at the end of the day, I think the people in power will end up injecting massive amounts of liquidity in order to save the system if they have to. And then take a look at this. Michael Saylor in MicroStrategy are now offering Bitcoin Lightning solutions in 2023. So if you don't know what Lightning is, the Lightning Network is a layer two scaling solution built on top of Bitcoin. And then take a look at this. MicroStrategy Executive Chairman Michael Saylor has shared his firm's plans to release the Bitcoin Lightning Network powered software and solutions in 2023. If you didn't know his company, MicroStrategy is a technology company and they develop software. He said this in a Twitter spaces on December 28th. He shared that the company is exploring software and solutions that utilize the Lightning Network, such as solutions that support enterprise marketing as well as cybersecurity solution aimed at corporate websites. The Lightning Network, as we know, is a layer two. I already went over that. <laughs> and yeah, it basically says, talks about MicroStrategy a little bit. And then once again, during the Twitter Spaces conversation, Sailor explained that chief marketing officers could potentially use a Lightning Network to incentivize customers, such as giving out Satoshi rewards for engaging activities, such as posting good reviews, or completing surveys. Now, I think this is pretty interesting. That right there seems like a learn to earn system. You know, he's saying if they complete certain tasks, they'll get Satoshi. Satoshi is just the unit of account for Bitcoin. So basically just a tiny amount of Bitcoin for completing a task. That to me looks like learn to earn right there. I think it's a pretty interesting model. And I think Sailor right now, yeah, people hate on him because we're in the middle of a bear market, but what are they gonna say when the tide turns? I think Sailor's doing a great job now actually trying to build in the Bitcoin ecosystem instead of just being a holder because you can make massive amounts of money by, you know, building in the Bitcoin ecosystem, building the crypto ecosystem itself. And yeah, guys, a lot of cool stuff being um, happening right now. And that's really it for today's video. Make sure to go follow me on Twitter. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment. Like this video. Let me know what you all think. Go follow me on my socials and thank you for watching.